Brooklyn Independent Television. Hello, I'm Randy Piers. Welcome to Sector B, the business of Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. We begin the show with a look at how a giant utility company helped a small local nonprofit renovate an abandoned building. The building, in the middle of a housing project in Red Hook, is where the neighborhood's young people can now go to find hope, direction, and training. Do you want, do you want the people who are getting the awards to sit in the front or in the front row? You can help make sure that the lines are, are in straight rows where people could actually sit comfortably. The Red Hook Initiative started in 2002 and it was originally focused on women's health and from there it has grown uh, to what we are today which is a community center run by residents of the community of Red Hook Brooklyn and we really focus on education, employment, health and community development. So everything that happens here is focusing on improving those things and creating opportunities for youth from this neighborhood. Taiwan, do you want to help me carry this table? We'll put it right outside the door. Uh, when we face the challenge of having to raise money to renovate an empty warehouse, we look to a lot of different sources. And one of the first suggestions that we got from a number of different people was looking into the National Grid Green Cinderella program. People heard we were trying to build a green building, and they really recommended that National Grid might be able to be a great partner in that effort. So this is the front foyer of our building and um, one of the features of the building which makes it energy efficient is the fact that we do have these roll-up doors that allow a lot of the natural light in. There's one here and one in the back of the building. The Cinderella program has actually been around for many, many decades. The initial program was about facade improvement of one building in an area that needed revitalization. And then in 2003, with the environmental issues and energy issues and becoming more forefront, green technologies becoming more and more important in our society, we expanded the program to call it Green Cinderella Program. So if you do rehabs of facilities like this facility and you install many green initiative technologies, then you're eligible for the Green Cinderella Program. The insulation that we have, which is visible here, it's also behind all of the walls, and it's made out of a vegetable cellulose, and it's uh, more efficient, so it keeps the building cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, um, and is something that's also all biodegradable and doesn't have any harmful chemicals. To qualify for a Cinderella grant, you would go to our website, nationalgrid.com, and in the search box, you just type in Cinderella, and up will come an eligibility criteria questionnaire. And then we have community relations representatives who can help you from that point forward. Um, so up here on the roof, we have a, um, our heating and cooling system is energy efficient. So we did pay more for that, but over several years, as you know, it'll actually help us save on our, our heating and cooling bills. A company who, who applies for the Cinderella grant obviously gets some grant money. In, to assist them with their green technologies that they're installing in their new facilities. Uh, but in addition to that, using natural gas efficient technologies and lighting and many other uh, insulation technologies and et cetera, uh, companies will have a lower carbon footprint, which is great for the environment, uh, also lower energy costs, which of course leads to savings and uh, you know, helps those organizations with their bottom line also. Everything is motion censored, so at certain points of the day, um, if no one is moving in an area, the lights will automatically turn off, and then when you, someone walks into the room, they'll turn on. And so having that cuts down on electricity. If people leave an office for a meeting and forget to turn off the lights, sooner or later they'll turn off on their own. You know, National Grid is, is a big believer in serving the communities where we have our regulated footprint. Uh, we believe that's a very important part of who we are and what we are. And this program is a great tool that we can use to help our communities, to help businesses in the communities, not-for-profit organizations, to thrive and do well. This is a very nice facility. When we face the decision of creating a community center and, and building a new building, we really had to struggle to decide what kind of a building we were going to create. And in order to be in keeping with our mission of creating a sustainable community, uh, working towards social justice. We knew that we had to make this building a green building that respected the environment and respected the community as well as the people who would be gathering here. And so I think working with National Grid and the Green Cinderella Project made that extra step 
um, possible for us, which really was in alignment of our, with our mission, where we believe in moving forward in a way that is environmentally conscious and socially conscious, and that's what was possible with their support. Follow us on Twitter at BK Independent TV. 